Yeah. Nathan, congratulations. Thank you. An emotional game for you. Just trying to sum up how you're feeling right now. Um, it was a massive win for me. That it was probably one of the biggest wins of my career. Um, Gary is is a phenomenal dart player, great guy, and um, to beat him on the World Champion stage. You know, I'm absolutely over the moon. It, it was a grind, it, it was a battle. I could have been 2 0 down. Um, but yeah, for, for me me personally, that win was massive. And uh, I'm so proud of myself that I composed myself at the end. And I took that winning double out. And uh, yeah, I'm in the quarterfinals. Happy days. So you dropped that to your knees at the end. Was that just yeah. all the emotion outpouring at once, what you just achieved? Yeah, it was. Um, I think you've seen in the, the, the prior two games, I was giving it quite a lot on stage because that's when I, I play better. But um, I, I think it's shown the respect that Gary deserved tonight. Um, I wasn't going to do that in Gary. Um, obviously, the talk of the, the Gezi and uh, Gary thing in the past, you know, I could have done that. But, you know, Gary is a two time world champion. He deserves the respect. And, you know, I wouldn't be that disrespectful to, to celebrate like that. But at the end, you know, I kept it in, and um, to, to finally get that double at the end because I had opportunities prior to that um, to get that win at the end. It, it was just, it wasn't adrenaline. It was more relief and uh, relief, sorry. And um, yeah, I was just so proud. You touched on you could have been behind. It was quite a strange game to watch at times. Was it a strange game to play in as well? Because you were both scoring brilliant, and then you both missed big numbers and doubles like both together. It was quite a strange one to watch at times. It was. Um, I think in the the fifth leg in the the second set, um, I, I strung two legs together, I think 12, 11 or something like that, and I started off pants, and um, I think he had a 140 or 180 to get back in the leg, and he busted it, and it was a massive like, phew, right, come on, he gave you an opportunity, and I knew I would get opportunities throughout the game because, you know, Gary touches on lack of match practice. Um, I knew how I would get them opportunities and it was down to me to take them and um, you know tonight I did take them opportunities. You touched on knowing that Gary is short of match practice and you get opportunities. Was it a case of trying to drag him into deep waters somewhere where he hasn't been all year due to that? Um, I don't know about that, you know. I, w I would have liked to won three in every, every, every set but um, I think, I don't know if I don't want to blow smoke up my own ass here but I think he gave me a bit of he knew that if he missed, I would take it out. And um, I think that's why the little bit of pressure came in. You know, don't get me wrong, I ain't no Michael Van Guren. I've not won a World Championship yet. But I think he knows that if he missed, I would take it out. And that's when at crucial times, he missed the odd double here and there, or the odd big number. And uh, thankfully, you know, I was happy he did that. <laughs> Are you pleased as well that coming back here, you've gone deep just to prove that last year's world wasn't a fluke? Yeah, I've, I've said it all year in the interviews. I didn't want to be a one-hit wonder. I didn't want to, people to go, oh, Nathan had a good run because the draw opened up. You know, this year, the draw hasn't opened up. You know, Danny Baggish, for, for me personally, one of, probably one of the top two international qualifiers. Christoph Fatowski, multiple BDC winner. Gary Anderson, you know, I've now, you know, AD or Dimitri. So I'm, I'm proving to everyone that last year wasn't a fluke. I've won the UK since, I've won the Vegas, you know. I'm not bad at this game, you know what I mean. So um, I just I just go out there. I enjoy every minute of it, and you know, to have my family with me as well, it, it means the world. And you know, who knows? Three more games. <laughs> Nathan, pleasure, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nathan. How much do we see up on that stage this evening from from what you've learned from last year's run? Um, I think not so much this game, but I think the game prior, the Christoph game when I was three one up, and two sets on the bounce, I was one leg away from winning. He won that set and then I had put arguably my best set uh, of the match in the last set. I think I've learned to not worry, uh, not panic. Um, that's what Michael does. You know, that's why Michael is so successful. He never panics. How many times do you see the guy go behind? Never panics. And that's what, you know, I think that's what I've learned from last year is, you know, you're never out of the game until they hit that final double and you've lost. and. Um, I keep myself composed and uh, I think that's the, the biggest attribute to my game over the last 12 months. Mm. With all the sets obviously going to a deciding leg as well, was there extra pressure on pretty much every deciding every leg? Every set went to a deciding leg? I think all but the first. Yeah. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, my ass was going. <laughs> 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 um, now, nah, you know, it was, 
you just keep saying to yourself, you know, with a throw, just you know, throw, leave yourself a double after 12 or leave yourself a finish after nine. Um, I didn't realise he was that close, to be fair, in, in the moment. But, you know, I think again there, I've shown my composure and um, I've not let the pressure get to me in, in them situations. World champion who's been in the, at the business end of this tournament pretty much every year for five, six, seven years. Since I started playing. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah um, on the way up, I said to my manager Martin, I was like, um, I said last year, like like you just touched on, everyone was saying it opened up for me. Um, but that was credit to the guys that I played. You know, they, they knocked their seas out. It is what it is. But I knew if I beat Gary tonight, I think everyone's eyes would open and go back, OK. This guy's good, you know. This guy's here for the winning, and that's, I think that's why it meant so much to me because he's the biggest name um, that I've ever beat on. Well, probably the biggest game I've ever beat on TV, and I think that's why it meant so much to me. And uh, now I can kind of come down from that game and, and prepare for the next. Do you feel you've got that respect off those top boys as you kind of described them? Because um, it looked like it up there. You put Gary under pressure rather than the other. I'd like to think so. Um, I'll be practicing with. Pick this name up. I'll be practicing with Michael before the game, <laughs> and um, you know, for him to ask me to practice even now, it, it's surreal for me. Yeah. And I'm thinking he must rate me because he wouldn't want to practice with someone pants yeah, <laughs> before yeah, he yeah. plays. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, so I think they know that I'm, I'm a good player, and I think what it is, I think they see how much I want it. And that probably reminds Gary of him 20 years ago before he started fishing. <laughs> and um, Michael's, you know, he, he probably reminds me of him 10 years ago. And I do think they give me a bit of respect, but in the same, same light, I give them respect because, you know, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for them guys, you know what I mean? So. When you came here 12 months ago, you were, there was, the story was obviously about kind of got your card back, it was you know, a real run out of nowhere. This year I think a lot of people saw you, have seen you as a, a dark horse. Did you come here with your eyes on the time? Yeah, um, I said that when I was out in Vegas, um, every tournament I play in, I want to win. I'm hungry for money, <laughs> I'm hungry for titles, I want to be the number one in the world. I want, I want, I want what he's got, Michael, you know what I mean? Um, I believe I'm as good as Michael, I believe I'm as good as Gezi. Um, Consistently, maybe not yet, but I will be, and um, I see what them guys are doing, and that's what I want. So, you know, the self belief, the dedication, the hard work, the support from the family, you know, I'll, I'll get there. And just a final one from me when we, we kind of mentioned it a few times last year, I think, but that period where you had to kind of earn your card back, do you, do you feel that, that underpins a lot of what's going what's gone on over the last 12 or 18 months? <laughs> um, it was a tough period for me. But again, I think that's one of my, my strong attributes. Mentally, I'm, I'm really strong. I don't think there's anyone in the world of darts that's as strong mentally as me. Um, to change my life and my family's life, um, it didn't let things bother me. Uh, didn't let people who were playing or pundits or people that put me down bother me. And uh, I, you know, once again, I think it was proved to everyone that I'm pretty good. Very good. Yeah.